Menstruation is a normal and healthy part of every woman's life from her adolescent age until the menopause. Regular menstrual cycles release hormones to indicate that the woman is healthy. It also prepares adolescent girls' body for pregnancy month by month. During this period, body fluid discharge causes discomfort in carrying out daily chores, be it for school-going girls, working women or homemakers. Menstruation continues to be a matter of embarrassment that is marked by the social stigma for women and girls. Hence, there is hardly any discussion pertaining to puberty and menstruation leading to poor or unhygienic practices. Traditionally, women have been using cloth to protect clothes from staining. Several such cloth replacements are required in a day, which are washed, dried and reused. These cloth pads are not sanitized and are unhygienic causing vaginal infection and disease, leading to health issues. Being uncomfortable due to use of cloth pads and the fear of staining clothes, women stay away from public places to avoid embarrassment. This leads to loss of precious, productive and gainful days, be it for work or education. And this may cause stress in certain cases. It also leads to increase in expenditure on health. Women and girls with disabilities have even bigger problems in managing their menstruation hygienically and with dignity. Access to safe life and life with dignity is a fundamental need for women and adults and girls. One way to avoid staining of clothes and to manage menstrual hygiene is to use sanitary pads, which are single-use pads manufactured without contact and are sanitized to protect women from getting infection or rashes. Sanitary napkin is an absorbent pad that is sandwiched between two sheets of non-woven fabric. It helps to absorb and retain body fluid without causing any leakage. Although these sanitary pads are safe to use, they may be inaccessible to the rural communities, either due to non-availability or maybe due to higher cost. Also, these pads are available at medical stores or at convenience stores, and so women find it awkward to ask for it across the counter. It is important that low-cost hygienic absorbent materials or sanitary pads are readily available to the school-going girls so that they may grow healthy and with full potential to excel in life. With proper choice and availability of hygienic products, the working women and homemakers can remain mobile during menstruation and can perform their daily duties with ease. According to the National Family Health Survey 5, only 72% of rural women between the age group of 15 to 24 years use hygienic methods of protection during menstrual period. This indicates that a large number of women still use unhygienic cloth as protection. This is a story of the Roshni Ajivika village organization from village Gurusar in Bhakta Bhaika block of Bhatinda district in the state of Punjab, where menstrual hygiene was an issue due to unavailability of sanitary pads in their area. Women had to go to other nearby towns to buy these pads. Even if available locally, these were costly and not affordable by many. Hence, the SFG women thought of manufacturing sanitary pads because it would not only help women getting pads at cheaper rate but would also help in changing social behavior of the women by delivering these pads at the doorstep of the menstruating women. This will also serve as an alternative source of livelihood for the SFG women. 
village organization members approached Punjab State Rural Livelihood Mission with this social entrepreneurial idea, which was well received by the district team, who arranged for the technical experts to impart training on manufacturing low-cost and hygienic sanitary napkins. Roshni Ajivika Village Organization received funding for the project and the R Urban Scheme of Ministry of Rural Development. The operations and maintenance are done by the village organization and marketed by the community resource persons, also known as CRPs, under the brand logo of Ajivika as Azadi Sanitary Pads. This product is sold not only in local areas but even at the district headquarters. The Roshni Ajivika Village Organization established their sanitary pad business in February 2020, just before the lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. They had to stop the activities as a result of lockdown, but they did not give up. Today, they are successfully generating monthly profit of Rs 18,000 by manufacturing about 12,000 pads and providing hygienic protection to the women in their block. Let's hear from the women entrepreneurs about their journey. I as a block program manager under PSR Alam, Punjab de Tat Kam Karriya. Ethe asi sanitary pads da kam start kitta siga. Ede vich sadnu machine or urban de under aay siga. Ede asi pend grocer choose kitta siga sanitary napkins bun only. ਇੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਸੀ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਦੌਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਕੱਪੜਾ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੀਰੀਅਡਸ ਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਇਚਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਐਵੇਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਕਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਹਾਈਜੀਨਿਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਆ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਦੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਰਿਮੂਵ ਹੋਣਗੀਆਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲਾਂ ਆਈਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਜੈਸੇ ਲੜਕਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਮੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਕਿ ਕੰਮ ਸਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਬੁਆਇਜ਼ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਕਮੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਕੰਮ ਸਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਰ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਵਧੀਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਿਟ ਦੇ ਰਿਹਾਗਾ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਾਫੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਸੈਨੀਟਰੀ ਨੈਪਕਿਨਸ ਵਿਕ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਸਭ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਵਧੀਆ ਖੁਸ਼ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਉੱਪਰਲੇ ਪੱਧਰ ਤੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਲਿੱਪਕਾਰਟ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂਗੇ ਈ ਮਾਰਕੀਟਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਰਵਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਨੂੰ ਬੂਸਟ ਅਪ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਮਾਲਜ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਸੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਹੱਥ the successful business has not only given an alternate source of livelihood to the women but also empowered the women to adopt hygienic practices during menstruation national rural livelihood mission is being implemented in punjab since many years my focus is that 3 lakh women which have been involved in self help groups this needs to be upscaled the numbers have to go up and the groups which have been formed have to be taken to the next stage and the ultimate stage of credit linkage to the bank my focus and the focus of the department is to concentrate on non farm sectors we have been doing exceptional work in sanitary pad making which is a group which a group is doing in bhakta baika in district batinda we are hopeful that by concentrating more on non farm sectors by encouraging these women to set up their own units with the help of banks with the help of little technology and little support from our side can definitely do a lot for the society use of sanitary pads is a good practice for menstrual hygiene and health but improper disposal of sanitary pads is a serious problem often your sanitary pads are disposed of with the household garbage or dumped in open space or are thrown in drainage this causes harm to the health and the environment there are two main ways to dispose of used sanitary pads the first solution is to wrap the sanitary pad in paper and put it in the right dustbin The second solution is to burn the sanitary napkins in an incinerator. 
electrical incinerators are expensive. A simple and low cost solution is matka or pot incinerator. These incinerators are not only economical but also do not harm the environment and can be made at home. To make the incinerator, first take an earthen pot and dig a pit of the same size. The selected place should be at a height. Make 4 to 5 small holes on the upper part of the pot to supply oxygen for burning of the pads. Similarly, make 5 to 6 holes at the bottom of the pot to let the smoke get absorbed in the soil during burning of the pads. Make another hole at the bottom of the pot to drain water and ash from the pot. Before placing the pot in the pit, spread some brick pieces in the pit so that if there is any water around the pot, the pieces of brick will absorb the same and the pot will remain dry. Three to four days after putting the used pads in the pot, put some neem or other dry leaves in the pot and burn it. The pot should be covered well so that less smoke exits the pot causing less environmental pollution. Reburn the pads after 2 to 3 days because the wet pads do not burn completely in one go. Take care of your menstrual hygiene and also take care of the environment.